in this video we are going to discuss about creating multiple threads using runnable interface in java programming language uh, here we have uh, two threads uh, which are uh, created by implementing a runnable interface let's see the first thread so class thread a implements runnable so runnable is uh, an interface we know that uh, every class implements an interface and uh, the definition for the thread is provided with the help of run method the prototype of the run method is public void run so this run method contains the definition of thread a uh, so here what we are doing is uh, we are multiplying the numbers from 1 to 5 by minus 1 so for int i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus system dot out dot println thread a i is equal to plus minus 1 into Five. <coughs> so here we are multiplying the numbers from 1 to 5 by minus 1. So here the output is thread a i is equal to minus 1, thread a i is equal to minus 2, i is equal to minus 3, i is equal to minus 4, i is equal to minus 5 like that. Uh, next this is nothing but end of the for loop system dot out dot println exiting thread a. Next run method is over. Next this class declaration is over. Next uh, we have created one more class that is thread b by implementing runnable interface so in order to provide the definition for thread b here we are defining a run method so public void run method so here what we are doing is uh, we are multiplying the numbers from 1 to 5 by 2 so for in j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus system dot out dot printed in thread b j is equal to plus 2 into j so here the output is thread b j is equal to 2 j is equal to 4 j is equal to 6 j is equal to 8 j is equal to 10 like that next system dot out dot printed and exiting thread b next end of the run method next end of the class uh, next we know that execution will start from the main method here the main class name is multiple threads so name of the program is uh, multiple threads dot java so public static void main string ox uh, we know that execution of a program will start from the main method so first we have to create an object for the corresponding class so thread a name of the object is obj1 is equal to new thread a uh, but here uh, uh, here uh, this runnable interface uh, doesn't contains uh, the definition for the run method actually uh, run method is present in uh, thread class so that's why we have to create an object for the thread class here okay so why we are creating an object for the thread class why because this runnable interface doesn't know about a run method actually run method is present in thread class so what we have to do now we need to create an object for the thread class thread is nothing but a class so this class contains run method so thread t1 is equal to new thread of in this we have to pass this object as the parameter so what is the name of thread a object obj1 okay so likewise we have to create object for the second class thread b obj2 is equal to new thread b but uh, this class uh, this runnable interface doesn't know about what is run method the trend method definition is present in thread class so now we have to create an object for the thread class by passing uh, this class object as the parameter so thread t2 is equal to new thread of we have to pass this object as the parameter obj2 next uh, in order to start the execution of the run method we will call uh, this start method so t1 dot start t2 dot start so whenever start method is called then uh, the thread scheduler will check whether the cpu is free or not if the CPU is free, then thread scheduler allocates CPU to one of the threads. Uh, we don't know in which order these two threads will be executed. Why? Because uh, uh, it, it depends upon uh, thread scheduler. Thread scheduler may execute T1 thread first, or thread scheduler may execute the second thread first, or thread scheduler uh, uh, may execute uh, those uh, two threads simultaneously. So we don't know in which order thread scheduler allocates cpu to the thread okay so t1 dot start t2 dot start so whenever uh, uh, cpu is free then thread scheduler allocates 
the CPU to the corresponding thread. So this run method will be executed as well as this run method will be executed. Now let us assume that CPU is executing these two threads simultaneously in a concurrent manner. Let this be the output. So thread A. So first this is executed. So thread A i is equal to minus 1. First that this statement is executed for one thing. And after that CPU is allocated to second thread. Let this statement is executed for one time. So thread B j is equal to 2 is executed. Next let us assume that CPU starts executing this first thread. So thread A i is equal to minus 2. Thread A i is equal to minus 3. Now let us assume that CPU starts executing the second thread. So thread B j is equal to 4. Thread B j is equal to 6. Thread B j is equal to 10. Thread B j is equal to 10. So this thread execution is over. So what will happen? Exiting thread B will be printed. Then after that CPU control will be shifted to the first thread. So up to minus 3 is over. Next thread A i is equal to minus 4. Thread A i is equal to minus 5. Next exiting thread A. So this message will be printed. So in this way we can create multiple threads using <coughs> runnable interface in Java programming language.